with painting. Since moving into our home, we have been so excited to paint the exterior. For the last month or so, we've been collecting colour samples and getting supplies ready to prep our home and paint it. After many samples on multiple walls, we finally picked our perfect white. We did a few prep tests and realised that we didn't have to use the heat gun, only the sander was needed for our paint. We chose all of our accent colours, we picked the perfect paint, and we put up some scaffolding. The first thing we decided to paint was the sunroom for many different reasons. Because this is at the side of the house, I felt comfortable learning how to paint on this space. This space is also going to change a lot when we do our big renovations, so all it needed was a bit of a tart up, no restorations. First up, we needed to clean the wall, and I used a couple of different scrubbers and some sugar soap to do this job. Then I got straight into sanding. The house was last painted in 2008 and we know that there's no lead paint on the home. The paint was in really great shape from the last time it was painted so all I needed to do was a light sand. We didn't have any flaking of the paint whatsoever. Good morning, it is 10 to 8 on Monday the 15th, I'm not sure if that's right. It's very quiet in the neighbourhood today so I'm, I feel like I need to whisper. But day two of prepping for paint, today is going to be a lot of caulking and hopefully fingers crossed I can start painting and we can see what the colour looks like. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, it's been about half an hour and I'm pooped. It is too hot. It's about 28 degrees, but it feels like it's one million. It is too hot to work here because that's in the blaring sun, but I can work here and that's in the shade for a long time now. So I'm going to sand this part here and the little um, windowsill. I think I'm just going to work on here today, cork it, and then try and paint the rest of it this afternoon. be a sunnier day if it tried. Oh. I hope those people are okay. 
Okay, people, this is what we're doing today. We're painting. Okay, so we're gonna paint this wall here and this little bit here as well. We were recommended Dulux Weather Shield so many times, so we had to go for it. And the color we chose for the main part of the house is natural white. I just finished my very first section of paint. Look at the difference. Can you imagine when this whole thing is white? That's coat one done. I got a new hat. How these are fashionable again, I have no clue. Who decided this was a good idea? I'm not sure, but um, they're a bit more sun safety than the old cap. So I thought I'd give them a go. Protect my little ears and, and my neck. This is not a good look. How is this fashionable? Do I like it better like this? I feel like I'm at school again. I got the other colors from Dulux today, so I'm gonna paint the rest of the sunroom and see if we like the color scheme that we picked. I'm so excited! You're really supposed to work from top to bottom when doing these things, but I mixed it up a little bit this time. When I do the rest of the house, I'll be working from top to bottom. It's also worth me noting that everything got two coats in this process, but I'm only really showing one of each, otherwise it would be really boring. This had to be the most tedious, boring job I've ever done, masking every single window on the sunroom. Oh my goodness, what a job. Of course, the pros just cut in on these casement windows, but I am no pro, so I masked every single one of those windows. making his painting video debut. I was not comfortable using power tools this high up, so I got Nick to switch with me. I sanded the windows and he sanded the gutters and the fascias. That 
Then it was time to paint all of our trims. We used vivid white for this. It doesn't look very different on the camera, but it is quite different in real life. And we used the semi-gloss finish. I was really keen to see what this would all look like. So I painted these windows two coats on that day. I made sure to cut the outline of the masking tape with a Stanley knife first so that when I peeled the masking tape off, it didn't bring any of the paint along with it. I never filmed painting the rest of the windows, so this is me doing the second coat. Nick painted the first coat on the gutters while I did a little bit of extra on the trim. We decided to do our third color, which is Colorbond Surf Mist, to border those windows and it just made them pop a little bit more. Okay, so technically it was one day over a week but we were so exhausted I had to drag it out to an eighth day. But it was very productive. I took all of the tape off all of these windows which took forever. I did the second coat on the gutter. And I sanded and painted the sill. And finally part one of painting the house was complete. Thank you so much for tuning in on part one of us painting our house. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to see the final result. If you have any questions, be sure to pop them down in the comments or you can DM us on Instagram.